With actions you are able to save animations so that you can reuse them again and that way you don't have to make those animations all over and over again which will save you a lot of time while animating. So what we are going to do we are going to window and then click on actions or control K. Now we have uh, regular actions, morphs, actions and smart bones. Uh, we're not going to focus on morphs and smart bones because those uh, are related to some other tools in Anime Studio and I'm going to make some tutorials about uh, those tools in the future. So now we just focus on regular actions. Now we see there are no actions right here right now because we're on the vector layer but if we go to the bone layer, the layer of the character, you see three different actions bending jumping and running and I'm going to show you how to create a new action we are going to make a action called uh, walking so what you do you go to uh, new action right here click right here and I will name it walking and one thing you can also do is uh, fill in a shortcut key uh, this is not necessary but uh, it is useful for something so I'm just going to do it to show you where it's good for and you just have to give it an, uh, a number or a letter just uh, let's say one and then click OK now what happens is uh, you see we are on the walking action right now and you see that the the timeline, uh, the color of the timeline has changed to red. So we're now on a different timeline than the main line. Uh, this is the main line where we will make the animations and where we will export all those animations into video, fi video files. And right here we are going to make actions uh, which we then will put on the main line. So we are going to make him uh, walk since it's, since it's a walking action and we take uh, the manipulate bone tool and I go to frame 6 and I move his legs like this like he's walking then go to frame tw 12 and then move the legs like this very simple so now if I go back to the main line and I go to frame 1 and I will click only one time on the walking action one time you see two buttons appear. First one is insert reference and the second one is insert copy. If you click on insert reference, you see something appears on the timeline. And if you would play, you see we now have the action that we just created on the timeline. And you can also use uh, in do the same thing basically with insert copy. But you see it looks a little bit different. And the difference between those two is uh, with insert reference. Uh, let's say if we would go back to uh, the walking action right now. And we would change some things about the action. Let's say we would make his feet, his legs a little bit higher like this. Just something like that. And if you would go back to the main line. You see it has effect on this action right here. But it doesn't have any effect on this one it's still the same as we did before so that's the difference now keep in mind uh, this will only apply to uh, the bones that you have uh, used before you made before you made uh, before you put the action on the timeline so let's say if you would go to the walking action again and you would take another bone like let's say this one for instance and you would bow it and you go back to the main line this you won't see the effect because we haven't used this bone before we put it on the timeline and same thing would go for instance if you would take another tool like the transform layer tool and you would move it like this kind of looks a bit weird but anyway and that doesn't have any effect on the action right here so you can change the action on the timeline right here by changing it here but only with if you have used the bone or the tool uh, before you put it on the timeline so that's something to keep in mind now remember when we uh, 
put a shortcut key on the action if you would play right now and you would press 1 you see the action has been put on the timeline right now so that is a way to put uh, the action very fast on the timeline but otherwise you can for instance just uh, use uh, these buttons right here so see what you think is uh, mo the most useful for yourself uh, finally uh, what you can do is if you want to rename uh, a action you can do that right here or you can use uh, the same buttons Th these are basically the same buttons as here insert reference and insert copy but you can also delete the actions and let's say you have a bunch of actions uh, for your character and you want to delete a couple of them you can just click on delete multiple and you can just uh, select the ones you want to delete or just check all so anyway, that's how you uh, use uh, actions. Uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about this. If you have any more questions, be sure to uh, leave a comment below. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and I hope to see you all in the next video. Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial. If you want to see more, then please subscribe to this channel. I put new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make animations myself. I will upload them within one or two months. So if you're interested, you can watch those too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.